tries one. Deep right field. Ball game over. And Kemp, oh my goodness, he caught it. Tony Kemp makes a miraculous play. Kemp it ain't easy. Fly ball headed to center field. Ball game over. A sacrifice fly for Tony Kemp. Kemp, what a play. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe the best play of the year, folks. Tony Kemp of the Oakland A's is here with us here on MLB Central. And, and look at you. You got your own montage. You got your own front end. I mean, what, are you working here full time now? <laughs> Trying to. Yeah, that, that's how you know you, you've made it here. Now, uh, it, it does say Kempen ain't easy, but we're going to run through some moments where you've made it look easy, but also some moments where things are not so easy. I want to start with this one here. This happened, uh, this happened earlier this year, May, of, May 10th, 2022, this catch against the Detroit Tigers at the expense of Jimer Candelaria. <laughs> you even look stunned here. <laughs> yeah, I think the positioning that I'm in, I'm really not supposed to be there, and I think it just, you know, it's a testament to the analytics these days. Um, Felt like I was kind of playing center field I mean, right look, there, but you look like Superman. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of jumped to the spot, and uh, the natural reaction is how I felt. Is that the best play that you can recall you've made at the big league level defensively? That's yeah, it's definitely top five. Yeah, yeah. definitely top. I five. mean, a 91% hit probability. Was it really? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, Candelario was probably so ticked. I off. honestly, he looked at me the next day, and I honestly did feel bad for him. <laughs> I, I, I did apologize. Now let's go back uh, last season, July 3rd of uh, 2021. You, this was a, this game. You had a little bit of everything oh, because you, you started with an error. Yeah. Then you had the pop up on the bunt attempt. Yeah. But you ended up winning the game. Man, that was a roller coaster of a game. I. Remember that, just like, oh, geez, just get me off of this field right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes the game can speed up on you, and definitely uh, that day baseball was pretty hard. So when you have those early moments early in the game, what, what do you tell yourself? What is something that will bring you back to kind of center and moving forward? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is uh, you have to play full – the full nine. Yeah. You, uh, you know, something bad or doesn't go your way at the beginning. You have to just keep rolling with the punches, and uh, you never know when your name's going to be called, and especially right there at the end for the sack fly. And uh, yeah, can't believe I popped up that bunt and then made an error, and then. But it all turned out. And right. then here we go, and then yeah. that's why baseball is so awesome. You know, we're in Studio 21, which is of course named after the late great Roberto Clemente, and you were nominated as a finalist mm. for the Roberto Clemente Award. And I'm always struck by how much that award in particular means to players. This is you back in uh, September of last year from, from your former skipper, Bob Melvin, handing you a trophy for being a finalist. What did, what did that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, even talking with my wife, you know, she's telling me, hey, these awards right here mean more than anything that, you know, the, a catch or a home run that you hit on the field. You know, this stuff is, you know, truly what it means just because, you know, giving back to the people who necessarily can't give back to you and, uh, makes you feel good, makes your heart smile, and uh, I feel like once you have this platform, you got to use it in the most positive way you can. Yeah, you of course started your career with the Houston Astros, and you had some big moments there with Houston. As, as someone that follows the Astros, I was kind of, uh, <laughs> I felt a certain way when you, when you left Houston. But this is in April of 2019, a pinch hit walk-off homer against Cleveland. What, what was going through your mind here? Yeah, so uh, AJ had come to me and uh, I knew that I was going to get the, the pinch hit right there. Uh, Simber, actually, he's a you know pitcher for the Blue Jays now. I had faced him in the minor leagues and actually had hit a previous home run off of him in AAA. So uh, I knew where the arm slot was. Once he got behind in the count, I kind of just felt like he was just going to go with uh, try to go something up, up in the zone, kind of up shoot me. So I just wanted to stay on top of it and hit the walk off. Felt great. Yeah, you, you had some great moments with the Houston Nationals among them experience in 2018. Yeah, uh, the American League Championship Series yeah. uh, against the Red Sox. Uh, this is game three here. And uh, what are you thinking here? What's it like to play left field at that <laughs> ballpark? Left field at that ballpark's tough. Um, you always feel like if there's a line drive toward the wall, you're going to like clip your shoulder on something. So um, I feel like it's just uh, you just have to make sure you just know where you are at all times. And, um, you know. and then in game four, you go deep. Yeah, that was. I mean, to do that in the playoffs at that moment, what, what, what was that like for you? Yeah, obviously, uh, I felt like it was one of those moments that you dream of as a kid, you know, hitting a home run in the playoffs in front of your uh, home crowd right there. And, uh, you know, I felt like 
I got to start uh, at DH when we were playing the Indians previously before this. So I think I was like the shortest DH in history, <laughs> in the history of the game. But uh, yeah, some definitely some fun moments with the Astros and uh, never forget them. Now this is one I distinctly remember. Earlier that season in 28, your former teammate late in the season against your current team, the Oakland A's, Tyler White, it's a walk-off <laughs> homer. Now, we spot shadow you. You throw the gum, and then you throw the <laughs> container. And what are you thinking as that container is spinning up in the air? Yeah, so um, obviously Whitey hit the walk-off right there. And um, I got the gum through it, but it kind of held onto my hand a little bit. And so as I, I glanced down, it was going for Verlander's head. And uh, you have some good leaping ability. I think, here. At, I think at the time I just did not want that to hit JV's head. Yeah, what, what, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just you I, matumboed, you yeah, matumboed that. Container. I said, I said no, I said no, not today. So <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was, a, it was a good fun, fun moment for me. Now uh, you, <laughs> back in, as I said, uh, the Astros winning the World Series in 20, 2017. What was it like being around? You know, during that run, being around that that team is, and you also had some moments uh, leading up to the postseason. What what was it like being playing with the Astros that year? Yeah, I feel like in 2017 it was one of those years that um, it was just tough to crack the lineup. I mean, you could literally pencil in everybody that was going to be in the lineup. So, being in AAA for a majority of the year and um, only having a couple of months up there, but being able to just learn from those guys and. You know, be a part of a um, World Series champion team was was great. You learned from a lot of guys, and uh, just to be able to get a ring and to be able to be a part of that culture uh, was something special. Yeah, uh, we didn't show it here, but uh, you're a brand new dad. You have brand a six dad. month yes. uh, baby, six month girl. baby girl. Uh, yes. What has that been like? It's been great. She's uh, she's sleeping, so everybody's happy there you for, go. for the most part. So there you go. Uh, don't know what my wife would say if she was on this set right now, but I think everybody's <laughs> happy. <laughs> there you go. Hey, well, we appreciate you stopping in. We really appreciate when you guys make time and come to the studio. It means a lot to us. Good luck tonight Thank against you. the Yankees, and good luck the, best, the rest of the way. Thanks for having appreciate me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.